everyone welcome back to another video so this is actually going to be the first video in a new series i guess but it's really not going to be a series because i can't tell you when the next parts of this are going to be completed but epcot is the only disney world park that i have completed every single ride at so I figured it'd be fun to do a ride ranking, even though there's only like, I think 11 total. So this is the Disney 100 exhibition shirt. This is from the Disney 100 exhibition in Philadelphia. The back just has kind of like different eras, I think. And it's just rainbow, cutesy. And then of course I had to match it with my rainbow gingerbread couture Epcot headband because we were talking about Epcot today. And I believe that this headband is still available on gingerbread couture. So you can use code Taylor 10 or you can shop using the link in the description and match with me. I'm obsessed with these headbands as you guys already know and her scrunchies as well. So number 11, which I think is probably most people's number 11 to be honest is Mission Space. I don't care if it's the orange side or the green side, it really doesn't matter. I really don't like this ride mostly because it makes me really claustrophobic. I honestly don't remember too, too much of the ride because I haven't been on since 2016. And then before that, the very first time I rode it was in 2003, I believe. So I was only like five. So I really don't have that many memories on the ride. And I know when I went in 2016, I don't think I was really claustrophobic like I am now. So I just know that I would like really panic and just the whole, like the gravitational stuff. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> so since it's my least favorite ride honestly probably on Walt Disney World property I'm gonna say I feel like I would really like to see something else be put here like I would not shed a single tear I would not care if they completely got rid of mission space I'm trying to think of what I would like to see in its place because like I understand like the concept of the ride and why it would be such you know a cool ride for most people but I just feel like so many of us hate it so I feel like maybe like a kind of not necessarily exactly like Soren, but something like kind of similar where you're like in space and you know, going around like planets and stuff. I feel like that would be really cool and something that could, you know, pique the interest of a lot of people. So not necessarily being like confined to a very like tight, you know, spaceship kind of feel, but more so just like, you know, like a nice little aerial view of the planets and stuff i feel like that would be way better but since it's like my least favorite ride ever i figured we might as well just come up with something to kind of put in its place so that's really the best that i got all right so moving on to number 10 we have grand fiesta tour which i actually rode for the first time I believe in July of last year. If you haven't seen that video, I will go ahead and link it up in the cards above. There's not necessarily anything wrong with this ride. I actually think it's kind of fun. It's just like the boat rides are just typically a little bit lower on my list because they're nice break rides, but I just find them really boring. I didn't have any kind of connection to this one, especially, and it just wasn't like as interesting to me as like living with the land where you're like learning about, you know, fruits and vegetables and, you know, going through the seasons and all that kind of stuff. So nothing really specifically wrong with Grand Fiesta Tour. It's just like kind of boring and just not really my vibe. So for number nine, you could probably guess it's gonna be Living With The Land. Now, if we were including Living With The Land, the holiday overlay, that's a different story. That would actually probably be closer to like top five, honestly. I do really like Living With The Land. It's just, like I said, kind of boring. Um, it's a really nice break ride because it's pretty long. My favorite part of this ride though is when you're like going around the bend right by Garden Grill and then there's that like yellow house and you know the sun is rising or setting. I'm pretty sure it's rising and then there's like the scarecrow and the dog barking like something about that scene just makes me feel like I could live there or like I want to live there. Like something about that I'm just like it's so peaceful and it just like really like sets the tone for the ride for me and for that reason I just really like the ride. The way that they're truly growing their own fruits and vegetables and they're growing all their own like ingredients inside the park I think that the concept is really cool but just because it's like a very simple boat ride I feel like it's not something I like go for but it's not necessarily one that I like hate either so that's why I feel comfortable putting living with the land at number nine and then for number eight we have Nemo so it's just kind of like Little Mermaid for me you know they are fairly similar it's just like you know you sit in your little shell and then you just go about the ride I do really like the part of this ride where the fish are like in the actual tank like closer to the end I believe or it does go all the way throughout the ride I think it's like closer to the end occasionally you'll have like scuba divers in there and stuff the reason that I don't necessarily love this ride is because I know that it has better potential 
I've seen the Crush Ride in Disneyland Paris. You know, we could definitely have something like that, like way more adventurous, way more fun. And then I've also seen the Nemo Submarine Ride in Disneyland, which again, looks more interesting, obviously, because you're in a submarine. I just feel like we could have definitely done a little bit better with Nemo. So, you know, it's okay. It's a little bit more interesting than living with the land. So that's why I put it at number eight. So it's not necessarily like the Nemo concept for me. It's just like the actual ride is just like fairly boring to me. And then for number seven, we have Figment, which I also rode for the first time not too long ago. Figment, I actually do really enjoy. I know it's like, you know, very, very dated and relatively corny, but there's just something about like the song that's actually catchy. It doesn't really annoy me too much. You know, going through the senses, I feel like it could be very educational for a child, especially. I don't know. I just like all the colors. I think Figment is really cute. I think the concept is fun. I just think the ride definitely needs a little bit of a renovation in my opinion, but I do really like that, you know, Figment is like the mascot of Epcot because that's the only, you know, place we know of him is Epcot. So it's kind of like special for that reason. And you know, he is a fan favorite for sure. So yeah, Figgy is number seven. Yeah, Figgy is number seven. Super cute ride, love it. Just wish I had maybe more of a nostalgic connection to it, like riding it as a child, but I don't. And I think a nice little refurb could do the ride well. Okay, and then coming in at number six, we have Spaceship Earth, which is another ride that I feel could definitely use a nice little refurb, especially because the last few times that I rode it, my picture just doesn't show up or I get someone else's photo. So yeah, there's not necessarily anything I don't like about Spaceship Earth. It's obviously extremely slow, but I like how, you know, fast paced at the same time the ride is in terms of like how quickly you can get on and you know it's just a continuous carousel. I do really think that the part where they do take your photo and then you have your own little story at the end is very unique and fun. I just wish it worked all the time. I've had more than half of my experiences on the ride not work so for that reason like you know it's a little bit frustrating but it's not like the end of the world by any means but i do have a lot of really good memories associated with spaceship earth obviously it's inside the ball so it's iconic for that reason i do believe that they are transforming it into a storytelling aspect rather than you know technology so I feel like maybe that'll be nice just to see some updated animatronics, maybe some better lighting. I'm excited for the future of Spaceship Earth and I do really love the ride, I always will, but yeah, she is sitting comfortably at number six. And then number five, I feel like might be a little bit of a shock to some people because it's, you know, it's not like too low on the list. I mean, it's still top five, but that is Remy. I just, I don't know. There's something about Remy that I just don't love. Like, I just don't really get excited to get on the ride like that's another one that I rode for the first time in July I did a lot of first times in July of last year but you know the ride was still relatively new and I don't know it's just like the concept is cool but it's not as good as Rise of the Resistance for me just I think it's the 3D aspect I'm just not a 3D girly so yeah that's the only like negative thing I have to say about Remy because overall I really do love the movie I actually think I love the movie more than the ride and I'm definitely more of a ride girly so that's kind of a shock but yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't love the 3D aspect. I don't like having to wear the glasses. It's just like trippy for my eyes. I like the adventurous part of it though, like when you're under the stove and like the burners turn on and the water's hitting you in the face and the end scene is beautiful. I love all the little rats, you know, having a little picnic or whatever. But yeah, Remy is number five. Don't love it, don't hate it. Like the fact that it's a thrill ride and that's pretty much the only reason that it's in the top five, if I'm being honest. And then coming in at number four, we have Test Track which I actually really love Test Track, but I don't love the like first, it's probably more than half of the ride when you're just inside doing all your little tests. Obviously I understand like it totally fits the ride. It's just not as exciting as like Radiator Springs Racers in DCA. So I feel like maybe because I've gone to Disneyland, it kind of like made Test Track, you know, lower on my list maybe. But I do really love the part where we're outside and we're racing, like that's fun and everything. But just like the testing on the indoor part, I'm like, all right, let's 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 get to the outside part. You know what I mean? I would really like to see Test Track have more, you know, like adventure throughout the entire ride, not just like the last, you know, 30 seconds or so. And then number three for me is Frozen. So I really, really love the movie. Another one where I love the movie more than the ride. There's not necessarily anything completely wrong with Frozen. I feel like the animatronics are not 
wonderful. I feel like we can all tell the difference between their faces and the rest of their bodies. I feel like on Mickey and Minnie's, they pulled that off way better. I mean, I know it's a newer ride, but it's just way better and, you know, more realistic. That's not the right word. That's a, the closest word that I can think of. I feel like Frozen is fun, it's cute, but it's again, not like as exciting as it could be, I guess. I don't know, maybe Frozen needs more drops. Obviously we're gonna have Tiana's very soon. So that will probably, you know, blow Frozen out of the water. Frozen's cute, it's fun. Um, I really don't like to wait for it. I really only ride it if I have lightning lane for the day, just because the queue can get very, very long. I feel like that's pretty much all that I have to say about Frozen. She's number three, love her and yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then coming in at number two, which was my number one previously before Guardians, but my number two is Soren. I absolutely love Soren. I think that it's so much fun. It's just like so calming and relaxing to just have your feet dangling and just smell some nice scents you know, go around the world for a few minutes and I just really love the ride. But again, I really do think that it could use a nice little update, especially for the Eiffel Tower scene, which we all know if you're not sitting directly in the center, it's gonna be completely sideways. But yeah, the end scene when we're over Epcot and the fireworks and Tink, like it is just so cute. Yeah, I really love Soren, but would like to see the projections at least get an upgrade. And then number one, if you couldn't already tell, is Guardians. So Guardians is actually my favorite Marvel movie, my favorite Marvel series. Speaking of, me and Brad are actually going to see Guardians 3 tonight, which I am very nervous for actually because I know of everyone's reviews. But yeah, I just really love Guardians and I think that the ride is really cool. I think that the concept of these really long queuing areas, like several different rooms, I understand why they're doing it because it's like breaking up the line, it's setting you up for the ride, and like I get it, but at the same time, it just feels so, so long. Like I feel like I would rather have something a little bit more closer to Rise, just because, you know, in Rise, at least at one of the parts, you go into like a spaceship and you feel like you're going somewhere, whereas like in Guardians, you know you're in a room and it's like, you teleported, but you didn't. And I just like can't wait to get on the ride every time. But yeah, I just really, really love the concept of getting a different song every time, or at least, you know, having six different options to get every time because it makes your ride definitely, you know, a unique experience, very fun. So the songs that I've gotten so far are One Way or Another. I got that one with the girls in July and that was when we wrote it the second time and I had the front row to myself and I was just screaming the lyrics to the song. It was so fun sitting up front by myself. I've gotten September on my most recent trip during Festival of the Arts and that is definitely like a top song for me. I really, really loved getting September because I just love the song in general. Conga's another fun one. And then I've also gotten two of the holiday overlays, which again, you know, it's a holiday overlay, so. And then my favorite song to get on Guardians is Everybody Wants to Rule the World. It was the very first song that we had ever gotten. And I can honestly say I wasn't like too much of a fan of the song before I had gotten on the ride. But now that I have gotten the song on the ride and I have gotten to know the song a little bit better, I do really, really enjoy getting it. I do think that it is my top song. Even though I haven't gotten all six, the four that I have gotten were in my top four already. I do not like Iran at all. I don't like the song in general. And then Disco Inferno, I feel like could maybe get in the top four. I don't know, actually. I think I like Conga better. So I'm very happy with the four that I've gotten. I do still want to get Disco Inferno and Iran just because. But I hope maybe in the future they'll maybe incorporate some of the songs that are actually from the Guardians films. Because I feel like that's kind of strange to have a ride, you know, based on the movies and then not pick songs from the movies because there's some great songs from the movies. So yeah, that's my only like thing that I would change with Guardians. I think the ride is so much fun. I love the concept of going backwards and sideways and, you know, forwards, spinning around the planets. I just really, really love it and I think it's so smooth. It's so fun. Oh, I could go on about Guardians forever. I just really love the movies. I love the ride. Hi guys, it's the next day and I did not like my outro that I filmed yesterday. So I figured since I saw Guardians last night, I might as well come on here and tell you how I felt about it. So I am wearing my Guardians tee today and then I am also wearing my Groot scrunchie from Gingerbread Couture. I'm just gonna put my hair up because the curls are very frizzy today and barely curls. And now I look bald, so. Please enjoy. So I really, really loved Guardians 3. I felt like it was a really good wrap for the current Guardians that we have. I didn't actually cry at all, which I'm very surprised because there are quite a few scenes that are very heartbreaking and sad. 
and uh, would have normally gotten me, but I think because I was so like prepared for them, and also I just had to keep like reminding myself that it's fake, so yeah, I just didn't end up crying, but it was just a really, really good film, and if you haven't seen it, I would totally recommend. I do think that seeing an action film like that in theaters is way better of an experience than watching it at home, so if you can see it in theaters, I would highly recommend. It was just truly amazing. I laughed a lot, and yeah, that is pretty much my review of Guardians Volume 3, and that is all that I have for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to tap the bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss when I post, which is every Friday, and I will see you real soon. Bye!